Caleb here, and today we're going to be hiking at Bluestem Falls in Pahuska, Oklahoma. Hope you guys enjoy. The town originally known as Deep Ford was established in 1872 with the reservation for the Osage Nation, part of the Indian Territory. The Osage Indian Agency was located along Bird Creek, one of the three main bands of the tribe settled here. Uh, traders followed uh, building stores during 1872 and 1873. Pahuska's first new pa newspaper, the Indian Herald, was founded in 1875 by George Edward Tinker, an o Osage who became the father of Clarence L. Tinker, the highest ranking Native American officer in the U.S. Army. The first post office opened in 1876. The Midland Railroad Valley reached Pahuska in or September 1905. By the time of statehood in 1907, the town population was 2,407. Now, Blue Stem Lake is just northwest of Pahuska and is home to a hidden waterfall. Uh, and it's the perfect place to spend a picturesque summer day. And it's tucked up near Blue Stem Lake, and it's surrounded by huge trees, a stunning view. And it's actually really surprising how few Oklahomans know about this hidden gem. I've actually lived here, or I've lived in Oklahoma my whole life, only an hour and a half away. And I didn't know that this place existed for, or until last year. Now the waterfall normally runs down here and into this big pit, and then down into a secondary waterfall. And there's actually a spot where teenagers jump off into that deep pit um, when it's full, obviously. I wouldn't do it right now, especially since it's fall and it's probably really cold. Now, there's several rock ledges that are popular for jumping. Just be careful to make sure the water's deep enough below. Uh, Pahuska gets uh, an average of 44 inches of rain per year and the US average is 38 um, so inches so it's actually above the US average um, so the falls can either be a cascading over the rocks or like today where it's just a trickle um, another quick fun fact about uh, Pahuska the first Boy Scout troop in America is claimed to have been organized in Pahuska in May 1909 by John F. Mitchell a missionary priest from England sent to St. John's Episcopal Church, the Church of, uh, by the Church of England, on Independence Day weekend, uh, 2009, the Bahaska Boy Scout troop celebrated its centennial with a mini jamboree attended by over 300 scouts uh, from across the United States. So that's cool. So there's normally another waterfall that comes down this way. Which so the first time I've ever went here was in May. Um, it was. I was trying to go places I'd never been for my birthday, which is in May. And my mom and I went here and we went swimming and I had just got my GoPro. So, you know, with it being a waterproof camera, we swam around under the falls and stuff and it was pretty fun. Now, when the weather's like this, um, if you're not from Oklahoma, uh, we've been having days that are in the 80s and then the next day will be in the 30s which is very common for Oklahoma actually a couple days ago we actually had a really big ice storm and there are still people like from last week when we had an ice storm there's still people who are out of power so that's crazy this is the pit of water by the way I was talking about where people jump off the edge or the ledge anyway um, but when weather gets like this, um, when we have warm days, um, snakes can often be seen sunning on rocks like this, um, just to keep their body temperature up since they are cold blooded, um, which if you don't know what that means, basically, um, they do not produce heat for their body. And so they have to lay out in the sun to keep their body temperature up. And, you know, that's kind of important. Um, so yeah, so let me tell you about a couple of snakes you might see in a place like this. Um, so 
let's just talk about some water snakes. Um, first, the diamondback water snake is commonly confused with the venomous cottonmouth, um, but it's actually a hum harmless snake often seen basking on logs in rocks near water. When it's threatened, it may emit a foul-smelling musk or even attempt to bite. Um, I'll actually throw up a picture here. Um, in like five seconds, I will give you a countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. There's a snake. I actually saw it uh, while walking at the... Um, Wow, I can't draw a blank. The wetlands? Um, okay, it's gone now, If for those who <laughs> looked away. Um, anyway, saw it at the wetlands. It was sitting on the path. I walked around it, you know, not to bother it. Um, anyway, another snake is the um, broad-banded water snake. Um, now, broad-banded water snakes can often be found uh, in nearly every imaginable aquatic environment, including streams, swamps, rivers, ponds, lakes, and roadside ditches. Uh, most feedings occur at night, and its diet is dominated by fish. They capture fish by holding their mouths open underwater while moving their heads back and forth. Um, and they're capable of quick sideways head motions, allowing them to capture fish. Nevertheless, broad-banded water snakes eat a wide variety of prey, including amphibians, which are like frogs, and other uh, things like frogs. Sorry, I'm drawing a blank. Uh, and an occasional bird. Like other water snakes, they frequently bask on vegetation that overhangs the water and dropping silently into the water when approached. So, like the trees that are above us, they would be known to, you know, bask up there. Say there was more water, definitely, that would be a more option. But since they wouldn't want to drop onto rocks, I would say they'd be more likely to be basking on these rocks. Um, anyway, their activity season extends from March through October. Um, and the last snake we're going to talk about is the cottonmouth, also known as the water moccasin. They are native to the southeastern United States. Their territory stretches from Texas uh, to the eastern seaboard and from the Florida Keys to the middle of Missouri. Um, they're a venomous snake, and they're actually, actually the only venomous snake or venomous water snake in Oklahoma. They're often confused with the non venomous northern water snakes. While it's not advisable to get too close to identify it, um, you can discern some characteristics from a safe distance. Mostly the babies have a little yellow tip on their tail and then their head shape is uh, more of a shovel shape if I'm reading this correctly. Yeah, so the fall in general is really nice. It's definitely more of a teen hangout in the summer whenever the water is high. So. If you have smaller kids, just know that that is what it is during the spring. Uh, when I went there down here farther, when it was basically more of just a creek, and not really the waterfall, there were more kids hanging out, or littler kids hanging out with their parents on tubes and mattresses, or like uh, air mattresses and, and stuff. But um, yeah, the waterfall was mostly older teenage kids, you know, 15, 16. Um, yeah. But also to be careful, these rocks get really slippery when they're wet. So just something to watch out for. There is a trail up on the right side of us. Well, when we turn back looking down the river on the right side of us on the bridge, um, that goes the whole way if there's water down here. So you can walk the whole thing and not be down here. But I thought down here would give us a more unique video because we don't actually have any videos in riverbeds so I thought you know we're gonna shoot it down here this is another waterfall well if we turn again there's another waterfall and the wind really started to pick up right here I decided to take a break right there because I was 
not really following someone, but there was a group of people up ahead of us or ahead of me that I was trying not to get too close behind because I don't know. I feel weird sometimes with a camera on my hat following people or walking in the same path as people. But yeah, that should almost do it. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Next week will be the Prairie Trail in Arkansas, Kansas. Arkansas City, Kansas. Uh, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed. And that was Blue Stem Falls in Pahuska, Oklahoma. Hope you guys enjoy. Okay, if you push this circle right here, you'll subscribe to my channel. And if you push this one right here, it'll take you to the previous hike. And then this one right here will take you to the full uh, playlist of all the Oklahoma hikes.